I think I'm going to chop down this bamboo on camera. It's grown so far. Now let's chop it down. Oh yeah. Well, this isn't actually that fun to watch. I'll see you when it's chopped down. It's really dull. Okay, this is how much bamboo we came up with. That much. That's a lot of bamboo. Now I'm gonna make sticks. And I'll do a tour of the base, and then I'll show you the sunset. Okay, I'm not gonna give you a tour, because we went all over the place this episode. We did a lot of exploring. We so I'm just going to tell you what happened. So this episode, we went out and we explored everywhere there. And in total, I think we have four or five villages. One where we have mending prop four on everything. And that's amazing. And we, we did go exploring for like a lot, for like five days or something at the end there that we also made this armor showing where we have two where we're trying to get two of every kind of armor we have the first three and we just have three left chainmail diamond and netherite uh we also enchanted all that we cut down our bamboo we went to the nether and we explored that a bunch and we actually managed to get fire resistance so yeah that's what we did and holy cow the bamboo grows fast so I'll see when that sun is going down and this video was like under 10 minutes when we had survived over 85 days and then we we recorded so much with the last bit so yeah that's why well yeah okay the sun is setting so now I can officially say I survived 100 days in Minecraft Hardcore for the first time. Subscribe and like and these videos take over 6 hours to make, like maybe 7 hours. So if you could hit the subscribe button, every subscriber helps. So. Yeah, I put a lot of effort into these, so subscribe, like, and goodbye. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Minecraft video. This video, I will be surviving 125 days in Minecraft Hardcore. And also, these videos take over 6 hours to make, so if you could subscribe, it helps a lot. So, now, let's get into this. We're going to start out by getting enchanted books from the villagers. We need unbreaking three and efficiency four. Well, nah, we're fine. We're going to explore the nether. Because we need to find the fortress. I'll show you when I find one. Or I don't find one. Okay, I tried with my pig with the piglins and might see something else in my inventory. Got a bunch of fire resistance potions. So I think I'm going to get a saddle and a warped fungus on a stick so that I can travel through the nether with a strider. See you when I get there, maybe. I also get got this soul sand book, so I might just go add that to my boots, but we don't have experience right now. So, yeah. I'll go right on a strider. Okay. Well, this is nice. We're on a strider going through the world. Okay. Why are nether fortresses so rare? I finally found a bastion, but there's just no nether fortresses anywhere. Search so long and hard there's never any um what's it called nether fortress Ugh. well i think i'm gonna explore the nether some more we will find a nether fortress 
Yeah, uh, I'm going to try to get efficiency four from a villager, and I'll see you then. Maybe efficiency three, or I'm breaking, or fortune. Okay, we got fortune two. So we'll just buy two of those books, and we need our axe out so that we can get experience for axe. And there we go. We can have fortune three now. That's marked off the list. Now we have to find another one with efficiency and then another one with unbreaking. See when I find another one. And I'm breaking three. Nice. We'll get that. And I, yes, I have punched both of these villagers. <laughs> Got him breaking three. That's nice. Now, I gotta go get a mending villager. Or, no. Uh, efficiency villager. This guy did have efficiency too. I accidentally broke it, but I don't know if I should have taken it or not. But, yeah. I'll go trade some more. Guys, look! There's three ones! And if you... And by the way, the days are right there in the coordinates. They're at the bottom. Local difficulty, and then to the side it says day 111. We're on day 111. Nights. It's feather falling four for 34 emeralds. I have to take it. Oh, I have to take it, don't I? Oh man, feather falling four at least. Oh man, now let's let this guy out, the librarian. And we have to keep, no, no, no. I also have to take this one, including three. <laughs> I was leveling this guy up to try to get the glass trade, and efficiency four pops up. Let's go. We just need 37 emeralds, and then we're out of here. Well, I guess we do need a bunch of unbreaking books, and then we're out of here. Okay, we're going to have the perfect pickaxe. It doesn't have um, fortune, but that's fine. Silk touch on breaking three, mending efficiency four. Made. Let's go. That can mine netherite instantly. I mean, nether act instantly. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, now that we have efficiency four on Silky Smooth, we have all of these books still, and we're going to put fortune three on this new iron pick I just made. Because... Well, we need Fortune 3, pretty badly. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do right now. And then I'm also going to get my Nether Quartz pick. Where's that? And my Nether Quartz with it. Where's my chipped anvil? Put in a chest somewhere. Okay, well, let's put Fortune 3 on our pick fortune oh. oh why now we'll put fortune three on our pick yeah fortune three let's go and efficiency four on that and everything is great and we're eventually going to get through all of these books. I'm going to put everything away, go to the nether, and mine fast. For some netherite, because we're going to need more of that. And also for new biomes. And I don't know if it's even been 10 minutes in the video, and we're already on day 119. This is going by fast. Now, let's get our boots to feather falling yeah 
What does it cost? Oh, 18. I need to get two more things on it also. 23 and 18. That's gonna, that's, oh, that's so much levels. But we're just gonna add Unbreaking 3 to all four of our other tools first. And then we'll add those two enchantments to our boots. Just in case we need, we don't have enough levels. So, I'll get back to grinding. We mine it. <laughs> Netherrack so fast, it's amazing. I could find another right so fast with that. Helmet gets on breaking three. There we go. Good helmet. Now we need to get down the leggings, then the chest plate, then the boots. Well, actually, the axe before the boots. It costs 19 though. Or 18 on the axe and the, the boots, I think. And let's enchant our netherite leggings and I'm breaking three. Let's go. Just need our chest plate, our axe, and our boots. This is going amazing. I'm really glad that we got this far in this episode. Okay, well, now let's add soul speed. I got 23 levels. Let's add soul speed. Boom! Now how much does it cost for unbreaking? 34? What the? Oh, 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 oh. oh, we're not gonna be able to add four more enchants on this thing. Oh, five actually. Thorns, Death Strider, and... I haven't, I don't remember all of them, but... I'm pretty sure there's four more, or five, that we need to add. We need to add thorns. We need to add more soul speed and breaking light. Oh, that is, t I think it's probably going to be more expensive before we can upgrade it. So, yeah, that's going to be harsh. But, that's fine. We're not going to be able to enchant it fully. But it's still amazing. Now, we need a um, breaking on this, and I'm um, breaking on this, and I'm um, breaking on this. And we'll make us, and then we'll mine for diamonds for a diamond sword. I don't think we're going to get it within the last two days, but I'll try. Okay. It's day 124. We're almost there. Now let's enchant our chest plate. And then next will be our axe. We'll get 18 more enchantment light levels. And we probably, by the end of the series, we can't enchant our boots to unbreaking three. But that's fine, because it has feather falling and soul speed. It's still good. So, I'll see you when I have 18 levels, probably on day 25. I really don't know, I don't have anywhere else where the nether quartz is, so we're not going to be able to enchant the axe on breaking three, but that's fine, because we did a ton this series. Next episode, we're probably going to be um, making an XP grinder, that'll be nice. And then, I'm hoping that we can beat the Ender Dragon before 300 days. Maybe, I'm real, we have to beat it by the end of the month. We have to. If I don't, then I will slap myself in the face. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and I'll see you when the sun sets on day 125. And maybe, I'll give you a tour of the base, actually. Uh, what did we do? We traded with villagers, and we got XP, and we enchanted. That's about it. Okay, I'll show you in the sunsets. The sun is setting on day 125. Now I can officially say I survived 125 days 
in Minecraft Hardcore. These videos take more than six hours to make, so subscribe, like, and good bye.